it, it's almost like we're, we're sort of dumping garbage in the atmosphere and, and nobody's paying for garbage collection. The notion that the height of human ambition is to be a passive consumer with no limits on what we might want to accumulate says it simply does not work. Falls. They interdepend. And so in exactly that way, we and our environment and all of us and each other are interdependent systems. So how do you unleash that power? By shifting your mindset and changing the way you think about consumers. The problem is the speed at which things are changing. We are inducing a sixth mass extinction event kind of by accident. And we don't want to be the extinctee. Something which is very common in the climate denier community, or whatever you would call it, is to, draw, is to talk about credentials. What we're talking about in this level of climate science is you don't need to be a full-time climate scientist to understand it. But consumerism doesn't have to be a dirty word. As long as we use our consumerism with purpose, the opposite of blind consumerism is responsible consumerism. And responsible consumerism is when you take an extra five minutes to use your voice and your vote to do a little bit of research and learn a little bit more about your options and alternatives. Ocean plastic is not a plastic problem. It's a human problem. You are the one with the power to help stop it from happening.